going to do an installation on a 1949 Chevy. This is a basic installation for most of our sets. Um, anything other than a truck, this is how they'd be installed. So you're going to have two brackets. There's going to be a protective film on the bracket that you're just going to pull off. To You've got a nice brushed stainless steel finish on the brackets. So you're going to have a left and a right. And just take that off. On your left and right, it's going to wind up hooking to the top of the garnish, but you first need to loosen up the screws on the garnish. So whether it's a Phillips or flathead, typically it's a flathead uh, Phillips screw. So you're just gonna back this off a little bit. You don't need to take it all the way off. And this is gonna create a little bit of a gap between the headliner and the garnish. So just be careful not to strip the screws. A lot of them are old and stuck. So after you loosened them up, actually it might be best to loosen them all the way across the top. There's usually four screws. And at this point you would get the left and right bracket based on the spacing on the instructions, measure from the center over to the left or the right, and you would go ahead and, and do your installation and, and insert it from there. We just measured, uh, made sure that they were straight. A good tip is to measure from the bottom of the bracket to the other bottom of the bracket and then make sure that the top is the same. And after you've done that, you just go ahead and tighten the screws back up. And then we'll be ready to put the slats into place. Now when we're doing the slats, there's a specific order on the instructions. Usually it's smallest at the top and it gets a little bit larger as you go down. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unfold, carefully lay these out. They're, they should be already in the order that they're supposed to be installed at. So, what you'll do is you'll get the top slat first. Just carefully lay it into the slot. And do not snap it in place yet, because what we're gonna wanna do once we get them all in, we're gonna step outside of the car and make sure they're centered before we go ahead and lock them in. Okay, so when we first did, started doing this installation, if, if I explained or if you saw, you noticed the bracket had a flange at the top that was bent down that we were gonna loosen up these screws to hook to the top. Well, if you look at this package tray, it's a beautiful custom package tray. It doesn't sit in the in the original location, which should be under this garnish. You could even see up here on the ends, it's really high. So that made the bracket a little bit too tall to fit. So what we did was we um, we mod we modified it, and we wound up slipping it underneath. Now, being that the bracket is now in a new location, it also resulted in the slats not fitting. So we had to trim them down, and trimmed a little bit of at a time and without trying to compromise the overall length what I did is I cut the ends at an angle so if the short side is facing the glass it's actually two inches smaller on each side so it'll give a little more clearance on the inside but on the back edge you still have the original overall length and so that's what we did right now and we're gonna finish doing this installation we're gonna step outside of the car and give it a look and see how it goes Okay, so we snapped the final slats in and this is the result. So you want to obviously make sure that there's a consistent flow and spacing on each side. And that's what we've achieved. And this car is ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, you could get a hold of us through my website to call or email us. Thank you.